들어 So what's the what's the whole uh, plan with the surfboard deal? It's 43 degrees, and we trying to custom paint. Yeah, it's it's probably a really bad idea. It feels a lot better. It feels a lot colder in this shop than that anyway. But, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. What I've said a couple times it's one of them ideas I've had in my head. I got to get it out, you know. Uh, I got a lifelong friend, Randy Gatlin. We was in Boy Scouts together, like in 10, 12 years old. Anyway, we reconnected probably 10 years ago on Facebook. Randy has got a 70 Ford van that he's customized, like in the 70s. And that van name is Lucy. He takes it to car shows and he built a little teardrop looking camper to go behind it. And it's all fixed up, it's really nice. Randy's done a real good job with that. Well, he's been after me for years to do some painting on his van. and. Uh, I just a little bit nervous about doing it because that ain't really what I do. I do good enough for myself. He's probably what an hour away from us, something mm -hmm. like that. But uh, I saw last summer, June or July, he had put on paper. He got a orange crate swing bicycle. He got, like I said, he got that the whole setup paid to the car show. It's nice, real nice setup. And I saw last June or July he was looking for a surfboard to borrow to set up at his car shows and stuff like that. So I walked around, I thought about it for a little while. I said, I don't really want to paint on the van or I mean a wheel, but I just don't never seem to have time. I said, I'm gonna get him a surfboard, paint it, kind of match Lucy and we'll give it to him. He don't know nothing about what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. this is what I got so far. We'll get the back the back side of it too. So yeah. but, um, this side I got. Yeah, the Lucy part taped up, but that's where I'm at. Yeah, we got Lucy painted on there, and that's kind of your um, your thing is uh, you know, pretty trick, custom, old school style paint jobs. But instead of using candy and metal flake and all this exotic stuff, we're using solid colors. It's, you know, it's solid color, no no metal flake, metallic, none of that. No, just basic colors and make it look good. This is kind of to me like the later '60s, early '70s psychedelic uh, hippie style. Should go perfect with his van. There's the van fixed up. I mean, this thing is nice. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty awesome. So, um, we took. Uh, I got got online and found. Um, this is a silhouette of Monument Valley, um, which is you know something we something we visited this past summer. But uh, that's kind of one of Randy's themes, and they're he, um, he loves that. That's on one of the Bob Seger albums, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm not real good at airbrushing. I just I do my taping and stuff like that. But this is what we got so far. So I mean, we can. Yeah. Pull off front of Monument Valley. And yeah, so we just masked that off and then you just hand taped and then laid out the uh, kind of sunburst yeah. um, kind of pattern. And we're, we're just doing panels. It's basically panel paint, but it's um just kind of a, a little bit simpler version of it than a lot of what you see, so. My hand's shivering, it's cold. Yeah, we hadn't had great um great weather here lately, so I've been trying to paint on the Mustang and everything else and but anyway, we just deal with it. When we get ready to paint something we want to paint it, instead of having to wait around for weather and we just don't have a, a booth or anything that yeah. we can control, but I do the best I can do and let that be. Yeah. Like I said, this is exactly how Misfit's done. It's all um just solid colors you know that we just uh did different techniques with uh fades and um a lot of line work and uh just basic airbrush and regular old um spray gun is all we used to you know to do with it i mean it looks I'm pretty catching awesome the, catching the shadow over here but I'm yeah looking so far. i go a little bit further in with that side bring it out a little bit more
All right, so that's kind of where it's at now. We decided just to leave it at that and do a real light fade around the Monument Valley thing. Try to so it dried pretty decent. Speedy dry. I'll melt it. Yeah. Yeah, we're just kind of trying some different techniques and looks and stuff like that. And that's kind of what we did with your desk, too. Yeah, kind of like my desk. Like, we'd like to go to the old one. Paint job. I ain't got many paint jobs left in me. I'm not that great to start with, so this is more of a practice and learning experience. And stuff like this, I think, is pretty attainable for, you know, just about anybody. If anybody can, yeah. build, a, can build a car or something like that, you know, I mean, you can... Uh, yeah, you got to go out and get these $20,000 paint jobs. Yeah. Do the best you can let that be. Yeah, there. which, I mean, even paint at all is expensive now, obviously, but... Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, just as far as somebody has got a gas or something like that and they want to... Yeah, that one, it, I think was kind of already trying to do that, but, um, but, uh, you know, I mean, and obviously gassers look good with, uh, with these retro paint jobs on them, you know, and that's kind of, it's like I tell people, you know, they're like, well, should I go with patina or primer or whatever? I, if you can afford it, um, I think a paint job is what takes a car to the net, to that next level, um, and like I said, you can do this relatively inexpensively, and you obviously don't have to have, I mean, a Misfit was painted right here, like everything. Um, so uh, you don't have to have any kind of crazy equipment or facilities. It just takes a little bit of time and thought to uh, decide what you want to do and how you want to do it, you know, and look up some videos online and for these techniques as far as lace and stuff like that goes. That's just a... Just a regular old airbrush and all that good stuff. Yeah. But I mean, it's, you know, I think this looks pretty damn good myself. And like I say, this ain't, you ain't got to have all the, there's always somebody that can do better. You know, just yeah. do the best you can and be happy with what you got, man. Yeah, I figured we'd do a little video and we hadn't got real in depth. We got one more panel left to do on this side. So we may try to do a little more in depth um, if I can get you just taping some stuff and stuff like that. You know, just just really just kind of show the folks how simple it you know it can be done. You know, see, I, I measured off where I wanted my tape to go, and you can see I didn't even hold. Once I started laying it out, my brain had changed. Yeah. So you know, so that's that. You want to see what a, the the other part looks like? Yeah, yeah, I think it turned out really cool. Randy, Randy named his van like I said, it's a seventy. I think it is seventy four van. It's orange, of course, but uh. He named it Lucy. Like I said, what this is all about is something to him to take to the car show and kind of put on display and tie on the top of Lucy or whatever. So, <clears throat> uh, that's what we got with that. I think once the clear gets on all this, it's going to really pop. I mean, this yeah. is still just base coat, clear coat. It's yeah, I think so. Right now. I just got on online and found a, found a font that looked pretty groovy i guess and i modified it a little bit and kind of laid it out and got it tight and stuff and uh just cut it out on a little vinyl cutter and now let's see what i gotta do with this yeah now got i need to fade that you think with some right around the edges or let it rip it's going to be faded some ain't it yeah, I think I think it needs a shadow around the at least then, around the. And then leave some yellow right in there. Yeah, but I don't mind it going straight because I was thinking we might fade on up here, like to kind of get rid of these lines. But I kind of don't mind it. I can just come right around that edge. Yeah. Leave leave some of your yellow in here. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, for sure. I almost think you you might would want to put your mask back on it to do that. You know, like to get just just so the sun still has that sharp that sharp line to it. Yeah. That close enough. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I just go around just enough to fill in the just so you don't have any hard hard lines there.
So then you take that off and get your, um, do your real light line like this around the mountains. We'll do a little shade right up underneath there. Curve it. Yeah, you could, I guess. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I need to try to pull that mask off. Don't it took me years to realize I thought people just picked up an airbrush and they just went to paint. But uh, I thought masking was a voodoo, but you can't do that. But all the old cool vans back in the 60s and 70s. And you gotta have a mask, you gotta have something to make a sharp line, because airbrush does not make a sharp line. You see these guys in the mall or the car show in a t-shirt where your air is blowing through the cloth and material, you get a lot sharper line on a shirt or material than what you would on something flat. This is gonna flare out, so. Yeah. Uh, you made this masking for me. I'm gonna try to get it off without messing something up and underneath this is gonna be white. And stuff like these masks, like a, a lot of guys, your wife might have a cricket or something like that. That's literally, I mean, all it is, I got a big version of that. It's just a, a vinyl plotter and it was 200 bucks off eBay. Of course, the wife has got a cricket. You can do these letters, you know, um, or get this off the internet and uh, use the software that comes with the plotter and, and uh, vectorize it. And, cut it that was just a photo that somebody took of a nice silhouette and i just took it and cut it out on photoshop and whenever you untape it always pull your tape back real sharp like that so if you're catching around the edge say like that edge right there especially in the old days with acrylic and that one it was awful to chip it pin it up this paint's so much easier to work with and i'm not done yet so i still mess it up but let you tape Kind of cut your line as you go. Just take your time to get it off. Don't just start snatching it off at one time because you'll be peeling up a big hunk. And that ain't never a good thing. And also while you're peeling off, take care to uh, hold your tape. You get it pulled way back and you'll drop it. And it sticks on there, peels up your car. Yeah, right back in your paint. Go along and water it. Just take your time with it, that's all. Now this will all be cleared over. I probably put like two coats of clear on it and then sand it, block it out to take the edges away and then a couple more coats of clear. Like I say, when it, especially when you put them against that edge of that paint like that, hold your tape at an angle and let it cut its way along. I was worried about the white being the base kind of looking odd but i think it looks pretty yeah good. i think it looks pretty killer i think it pops myself yeah i, I kind of love that right now here to do is this mask will peel up without taking yeah that's the only bad thing about this vinyl is it's a little bit too sticky in a lot of situations I, the other day what i did i'd stick it to my shirt and kind of let it take some of the adhesive off the back of it but when i peeled it up guess what i had lint on my shirt on i should have knew better but I've done it before. This is just a new shirt. Yeah. This one, I took my hand and just patted it to kind of remove some of the adhesive. Yeah. They make a less adhesive vinyl. Up. This is for like automotive, outdoor stuff, and I just didn't have any, so we just used what we had. I used 
brown because I figured I'd probably rarely ever actually use brown, so. Can you tell what that's supposed to be? No. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's the only thing now, I think. What can we do? It's gonna have to have a bottom floor to it some kind of way, ain't it? Hmm, I don't know. That's another thing that's, that's hard about doing this stuff is trying to visualize, you know, like, cause you're kind of going back and forth and positive and negative images and um, masking and then what's behind your mask and what's going on top and then how you're gonna perceive it once it's once your mask is peeled off. So that's like with this here, you, you knew what it was with the mask on it, but now the mask is gone. It's just hard. I mean, if you don't know what it is, you can't really make it out. So I think we need to come up with some kind of solution to um, to try to make that a little more. Got a different color tape I thought, and you can see how this is just some defined line vinyl tape. I just throw something on there to uh, kind of get a contrast of what the uh, colors look like. You know, if we need to come back with something blue or green or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to ponder that. Either way it goes, that needs to be clear. And if we got to reverse, I could lay the reverse right on top of that. You know, if we, and, yeah. And that'll give us a open down here. And I worked on the backside some. I say it's all hippie style. I'm gonna give us a quick flash of what the backside looks like. Yeah, so that's what you do with the backside. And it's got some some lace in there and then a little flowers and stuff like that so this is the stage we at i'd really like to finish it this week take it to it yeah like i said you don't have a clue we're doing this very few people know about this project we know uh, i hunted the surf mobile for it forever and i finally found one on the marketplaces in pensacola when we was going where the mow tree yeah it went to, to swap the, meet to swap meet back in november i said i ain't paying stop let me buy this surf boy gotta have it and uh, once I got it home, got to looking at it, it had dimples all in it. It looked like where somebody had healed had been stepping on it. So yeah. I spent a while, you know, putting some salve on it and slicking it out. It is not perfect. I mean, I wouldn't, I'd want a car better than this for me, but what it is, and you got so much to look at. Yeah, it's so much. That's one cool thing about a car, too, is that you can get away with a lot of body imperfections if you're going to go crazy with the paint because um all that all the different paint patterns and stuff like that breaks that stuff up with panel paint especially so that's what i'm kind of banking on with ace is high because it you got to figure out something i'm kind of thinking something like something in the back yeah yeah i'm wondering if we may end up needing to see there's my bug yeah i got a bug in there um i wonder if we may need to bring in another color I thought about doing blue, some, a blue on this bottom, like, so kind of the top being that orange and yellow and maybe come in on the bottom and do something blue, kind of splashy water looking, maybe marble or something. Maybe just a gray, put a line across the bottom, fade that line, and then fade right around there. with some gray or something like that. And like I say, the uh, only we could pull it off, but if you had ever been to Monument Valley, Forrest Gump Road, that's what they call it now. Yeah, this is the that's Forrest kind of, Gump Road. Once you see something like that, it kind of <clears throat> leaves you speechless. You, know, you always see the picture, and it's got the road. I'm just throwing this on here to maybe get an idea if we let the road run into Lucy. I'm gonna have to use a smaller tape. This gun got too cold to tape won't be. Yeah. If you could get the road to taper some too, you know, to yeah, look like it it's going in. Yeah, it's wide down low, don't it? Yeah. Then? We can let the road run. I just can't do it with this. It's just. Yeah, too it's cold too cold for it. 
we need to leave it alone right now anyway. All we can do at this point is mess up what we got. So just walk away from it and I'll come back tomorrow. But there's a lot of imperfections like this bug. He's going to get painted over. You never know it's there. Yeah, you never see it. I have some nice fingerprints that's right up under there. You, you don't know they're there now. But they're mad. I did it. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I think it looks pretty killer, though. I think it's pretty sweet to me. Yeah, I think I think it needed it needs something to fill in this space anyway. So, like, come up with something to to put there to make the um the mountains uh kind of pop more and something to kind of fill in that space. I think would be ideal. So anyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to stay tuned for episode two. So as I got to editing this stuff, I planned on making it just one episode, but it ended up being really long. As you can tell, this episode is like 20 minutes long. So the next episode, we actually stopped talking as much and just kind of went into actually, you know, getting stuff done, and I did some cool time lapses and stuff like that, but we're going to do a blue panel on the bottom half of that surfboard. So uh, be sure to tune in. It's going to be up in a few days as well and uh tune in on that one and then the episode after that we're actually going to take this to our to our buddy randy and uh and surprise him with it so that'll be a fun episode as well but uh thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one in a few days